right, what's up, Turtle Riders? How are we all doing out there tonight? Good? I don't know why the sound, the music doesn't play every time. I don't get it. I, this happens. It's like hit or miss. It's like the music doesn't play, whatever. You'll notice I'm not going with the green screen tonight because this freaking shirt doesn't work on the blue screen or the green screen. And it's like my favorite shirt, the Turtle Boy shirt. Get them in the store. It doesn't work. It doesn't work on either. It's like teal. I brought, I, I picked the worst color shirt possible for my situation down here. So, and now we have feedback issues. Oh, for fuck's sake. You got to be kidding me. Okay. Audio is better. Hopefully it stops, stops, stops. Feedback. You're kidding me. What the hell is happening? Here? Hold on. Hold on one second. Let me make sure my cam mic's all set. Audio defaults built in. Should be good. Should be good. Let me see. Do I still have? Okay. Audio is good. All right, cool. All right, cool. All right, guys, welcome to the show. Um, I have gone ahead and I've shared the link to this on the um, Clarence Woods Emerson page. I'm going to go ahead and do the same on the Uncle Turtle Boy page. Go ahead and give both of them a like and a follow for me, uh, or whatever, and share it up. Let people know we are live. Uh, spread the good word. If you haven't hit that subscribe button already, go ahead and do that. What are you waiting for? Uh, definitely help us get the 13,000 subs on there. We're growing fast. We don't buy subs uh, like uh, some other channels called like Masshole Report. We don't do that here. We uh, we earn our subscribers. So we got a good size audience. I'm going to go ahead also, and I'm going to share this on the Twitter machine. Picked up a lot of followers on Twitter, and I haven't had to suck anyone's dick for it, so that's good. Uh, so get at me on Twitter. I'm at TB underscore Aiden. That is at TB underscore Aiden, A-I-D-A-N, live with... Uh, I'm, so I'm tweeting out live with uh, anti-lockdown resistance leader Boston. Oh, well, Boston's anti-lockdown uh, resistance leader. Okay, cool. All right, and I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on Parlor too. If you're a follow, if you're on Parlor, get at me on Parlor. Everybody should be on Parlor right now. Because uh, you can't trust these tech companies. They're going to kick you guys off eventually. Just know that. They're going to kick you off eventually. It's only a matter of time. So everybody's moving to parlor, at least if you have right-wing points of view. Even if you have left-wing points of view, I still want you on there. Because I'm going to be honest with you. Parlor's a little boring because there's no liberals. I mean, I'm not liberal at all. But it's fun to argue with liberals. And it's fun to read what they say. It's just fucking the world is a boring place without liberals. i got to be perfectly honest with you. So we need you on there. Get on there. Everybody create a, uh, a parlor account. You can find me over there. I'm at Turtle Boy, at Turtle Boy. All right. So before I bring on our guest here, I want to do a little introduction here uh, because I found this guy today. Somebody sent me a shit and I couldn't, I binged on his videos. It was just too funny, too funny. So let me pull up the blog from today. Da -da -da. There it is. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, and by the way, if you guys uh, donate to the super chat again, uh, we have that option now. I'm banned from PayPal for life. That's I'm like one of like 10 people on the planet who's banned outright from PayPal. So if you donate to the uh, super chat, that little dollar button on the bottom there, you can write whatever you want in the message. It comes up like a billboard. It's pretty cool. All right. So anyway, so the lockdowns, um, it's driving me nuts. I went to the gym today, Planet Fitness, Judgment Free Zone. And the only thing I do there is cardio. I don't have time to lift anymore. And, uh, it was, it's like a haven, the cardio, because you don't have to, uh, you know, wear the mask. That was the thing. You don't have to wear the mask on the machines. Well, because these freaking numbers don't go down, these stupid cases, which don't ultimately matter because who cares about cases with the virus with a 99.9% .9 recovery rate, because the cases aren't going down, they're going up. They're in testing is up too. That's what they're not telling you. But uh, because of that, the machines uh, now require, like Charlie Baker had to do something. Like that, liberals are up his ass with this shit. And to his credit, he's a terrible governor, but he's resisted the urge to do like what Cuomo has done and just ban shit. Like shut, start from scratch. Okay, you could tell he's fighting it, but he wanted to do something, so he did something completely useless. And that is, he kind of came up with these restrictions like at gyms now. You have to wear freaking masks on the on the goddamn uh, treadmill, right? And like the machines. So I'm like doing it today. Three minutes in, I got my I like I drink a lot of water. You know, and I uh, sweat a lot and I blow my nose a lot. So I'm on there and I do the sneak thing. I pull it down so like I can breathe out my nose, right? The lady comes over, need to pull that up, please. Need to pull that. Oh, okay, gotcha. So I'm like doing it the whole time. And I just took as many drinks as I could. The whole time I was fucking drinking. 
because I'm like, okay, this is stupid. And when I'm breathing, by the way, I can literally feel my fucking breath going into the mask and then just going out of the mask. It does nothing. If anything, it's spreading the virus around to my sides instead of straight in front of me. And there's actually people on the side of me and there's no one straight in front of me. It makes no sense at all. Now in restaurants, what they're doing to appease the mobs is they're coming up with new rules. Okay. So thank God guys, thank God you cannot get sick at a table. If you only eat for 89 minutes, just understand that if you stay there for two minutes longer, you're going to die. That's how the virus works. It's, it's science guys, follow the science. So you can't stay at a table for more than 90 minutes. My question is, so if I go into Dunkin' Donuts and I want to have like, I want to, I'm supposed to meet with my attorney pretty soon. Right. And we're going to meet at Dunkin' Donuts. But then like, what happens if we have to meet longer than 90 minutes? Can you go in, eat a bagel and then go out to your car and then come back in and start fresh with 90 minutes? How does that work? You tell me, I don't know. None of this makes any fucking sense. On top of that, you also must wear your mask while you're ordering food and between bites, you're supposed to do this. I, I thought this is a fucking joke. California suggested this a while back. We mandate it because that's what we do in Massachusetts. We're the, the East Coast version of California, except without the good weather. And we're required now in these restaurants to wear a fucking mask. I, I, I talked to Specialty Sandwich and Holden the other day about this. He's like, he has a bar in, in, in a restaurant there. He's like, I'll probably just shut down because nobody is like, nobody's going to want to fucking do that. Nobody's going to want to do that. It gets terrible, terrible. And I said, if you did that, if you opened up and your waitress was cool, she's getting like a 40 or 50% tip. That's like, that's the way you should treat it. Like we, we need to start tipping waitresses and bartenders who are cool about this shit. If you're like, if you bring it up in conversation with me and you're like, yeah, this fucking mass shit, it's gay. This is stupid. I'm not going to bust your balls over a mask. I appreciate that. And I'm going to tip you accordingly. If you want to be a Corona bro, 15%, period. That's it. Anyway, uh, so this guy here, uh, it's really up to businesses to take the lead here and say, I'm not putting up with this anymore. Because this is a free country, guys. I don't know if you guys know that. This is a free country. There's no laws mandating any of these stuff. These are unconstitutional orders from tyrants. You don't have to do any of this shit. And there's nothing they fear more. There's nothing the government fears more than an angry populace who isn't going to take their bullshit anymore. That's literally how this country was founded. The mob in this fucking state, in this city, Boston, decided, no, 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 no. We're not drinking your shitty tea. We're not paying your taxes. We're not letting you sleep in our homes. No, 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 no. I don't. Oh, no, no, no. You commoners, you don't understand. We're trying to keep you safe from the French. The French are out there and smallpox. It's going to come get you. Now we're all set. We'll figure it out. We'll come up with our own vaccines. We'll be good. Okay. That's how our country was founded. But we don't have that spirit anymore because we are a pacified, pussified nation. And people want the government to keep them safe now. And they believe any of this bullshit that like any of these fucking regulations are helping. Well, guess what? They don't. And it's fucking killing small businesses. It's killing them. At least the first time around when they did this, Congress immediately passed like a fucking stimulus bill. They threw some fucking ends your way. It wasn't much, but it was something. And they had those PPP loans. Now it's just, they're just shutting you down. That's it. They're just fucking shutting you down. There's no more $600 extra in unemployment. You're just fucked. And guess what? Your landlord, he's not going to give you a break. Nobody's giving you a fucking break on your bills. So what the fuck? I mean, it's literally, if we are not going to revolt over this, then what the fuck is, what are we doing? What a fucking terrible fucking country, terrible fucking country full of fucking pussies. We deserve to be invaded. We deserve to be taken over by the fucking Chinese because we are literally just fucking saying that, wow, we, freedom doesn't mean much to us. The Chinese are fucking laughing at us. They're sending over Chinese prostitutes as spies. And they're banging 400 pound mayors. That's what they're willing to do for their fucking country. Okay. They made this fuck. They cooked up this virus in a fucking lab and they sent it over here and they crashed our economy and they got rid of the president who actually was fucking tough on them. It worked out fucking perfectly. They're laughing at us. We are a fucking joke. So what we need is Americans who are actually 
valuing American values. And that is what this gentleman here is. His name, I'm going to bring him on in a moment. I just want to show you a couple of videos real quick. Is uh, Christian Silvestri. He owns uh, perhaps the most Italian restaurant I've ever heard in my life called Rabia's. I'm probably pronouncing this wrong. Rabia's Dolce Forma. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds delicious. And they make seafood there and shit like that. It's in the North End. So I'm assuming it's not, the rent's not cheap there. All right. And this guy is literally as North End Italian as you can possibly fucking get. And so you got to watch his videos, though. You got to watch his videos. So uh, here he is. He, he starts making these videos because he's like leading the rebellion. He's not putting up with this shit anymore. His restaurants, nobody's wearing masks except for the help. They're, they're wearing masks. But everybody's having a good time. Everybody feels friendly, right? And he's posting on his page. What in the actual fuck? People, if you if you see, if I see you with this, I will be breaking your balls, guaranteed. So they're having a good time over there. And you got to, let's watch a couple of these videos real quick. Here's the first one I saw. What's going on, my little snapper turtles? Happy Tuesday. Well, 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 here we are. Another week, another roll back down the fucking stage two, fucking step two. Go stick him up your sister's ass. One, two, three, four. Who gives a fuck about the stages nowadays? This is what we know. You're closing museums, aquariums, bowling alleys, gyms. Listen, how about we listen to you about closing these businesses once you close Home Depot, Target, Walmart, close the big boxes where fucking thousands of people could go at the same time and not get COVID, you stupid motherfucking twisted fucks. <laughs> but then again in the gym, you're going to die. Tell us, justify what you're fucking trying to say, you fucking flapjack motherfuckers. Fucking flapjack motherfuckers. You can't go to the gym, but you can go to Target. You can't go to the gym, but you can go to fucking Walmart. Explain the rationale. Please. And one other thing we like to ask you, you fucking pieces of shit. For the, for in good faith, I'd say, in good faith, you could do this. You, Marty Walsh, and the governor, Charlie Baker, maybe you just go on unemployment so you can feel what it feels for all these other families that you're putting on unemployment intentionally okay why don't you take your 287 dollars a week and see how you guys fucking survive give it a little shot and that one more video real quick this is so he i don't know if this is serious or not i'm gonna bring him on in a moment to ask but he's running for governor because charlie baker won't meet with him he put out a video last week asking i want to meet with charlie baker and he's gonna run his own campaign now and I'm voting for him if this is his platform. What's up, everybody? I'm the boss of Guido. I'm down here at the new state house with C Money. We're here interviewing the new governor of Massachusetts. We appreciate everything you're doing. We appreciate everything you're doing. So, Christian, so tell me and C Money and everybody here about the new, the, the, your plan about being the new governor. Well, first of all, I'm going to be a hundred and eighty degrees from what the old governor did. We're out to help all small businesses. I like it. We're out. There's going to be no more curfew. Oh, no good. No more fucking masks. No oh, good. We're going to be able to go out and about what they want to do back to normal. So everything that he did, I'm going the opposite. Oh, I like that. The restaurants and the rules and regulations for business. Six feet apart, stick it up your sister's ass side. I mean, it <laughs> Masks when you're eating, throw them out the window. If you want to sit with 35 people, just sit with 35 people. Now what about the holidays, like Christmas? What are we going to do? Everybody's going to come together. You can sing your balls off. You can do whatever the fuck you want yep. in any establishment you want in the state of Massachusetts. But so you're the new guy. How do you, you like being the new guy? I love it because you know why? I want people to be people. Everybody's yeah. like family. Well, and, and I'm going to help everybody. All right. Hey. 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 That is fantastic. All right. By the way, so thank you to the people who donated there. Mad Merlot, thank you very much. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Christina. And I think there was one more earlier. And Raph IV who says, I know where I'm going to dinner. I definitely want to try this guy's place. So I'm going to bring him on now. Uh, bring on Mr. Christian. I call him the Golden Guido. What's up, Christian? How you doing? Welcome up, bro. Thanks for coming on, my man. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. So, uh, yeah, tell me, uh, how's, uh, how's business these days, first of all? Sucks. I mean... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there's nobody around. You, maybe Friday, you get some people. Saturday, you're all right. And Sunday, you're back to shit again. 
Yeah. So uh, how long you been there, first of all? One year, December 2nd. Was oh, so you knew. This isn't like an old restaurant. Okay. It's not, it's new. And I'm assuming the rent there in the north end is not cheap. No, not at all. And I'm guessing the landlord keeps wanting to get paid no matter how much you're making. Absolutely. The landlord, the gas company, I mean, the meals, tax, I mean, they, they want their fucking money all the time. Absolutely. Yeah, so, like, that's interesting. The city shut you down for two months in, like, March and April, whatever. Did they? Did you pay property taxes? I mean, did your owner pay pop property taxes then? So, supposedly, they gave breaks on that. Like, they gave breaks on meals, taxes, stuff, but it's back to normal now. Mm -hmm. they, they did it for a period when they were doing the $600 and everything else, but now everything's back to normal. Everyone's got to pay. And not only pay, now they're trying to fine everybody up the ass for fucking everything. You look the wrong way, you're getting fined. Have you gotten any fines? I, matter of fact, got a thing today that we have to go uh, on the, the 21st to a mandatory hearing. For what? They didn't specify. They said that we broke some rules that uh, against the governor's mandate. The health department came to you? or It was funny because it said that the police department will be issuing you a hard copy. They sent an email saying what, what, what it was. Okay, so that's interesting. So, uh, new rules are obviously in place now. You don't have it, doesn't look like a big restaurant, is it? Well, yeah, there's two sides to it, so there's like there's uh, there's like 70 seats. Okay, so there's about 70 seats. All right, and how many can you fill legally? Well, right now, we're down to 40 percent. That's okay, one forty percent, no more than six people. So, you if, if somebody comes in with a family of eight, like I'm one of seven. Kids in my family. My family can't go out to dinner together. That's what that's that, that's their mandate. No more than six people. And, and they they will find you if there's if there's more. Okay, all right. So um I think you're are you a little far away from the thing people are saying they can't hear you that well. Uh yeah. but there you go. Okay, there you go, that's better. All right, so um it's obviously hurting you. Now, my question is if they come back and they do what Cuomo did in New York, and that's ban indoor dining. What are you gonna do? They go fuck themselves. They ain't gonna stop me until they want to come over here and start paying my fucking bills, paying my fucking help. I mean, I got people that that rely on me to pay their bills. They got a family they gotta provide for. Just like a lot of my friends in the north end who have families and who have staff and have everything else. You, what this guy is doing, single handedly putting families out on the street, and he knows he's doing it. You know, that's the sad thing. And they don't want to get, you know, they're taking their paycheck every single week, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so you're sitting there pretty, doing whatever the fuck you want, and you're t taking it out on people who, who, who are trying to make a living. And, 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 you know, if we go down ourselves because of our wrongdoing or, or us causing our business to go down, that's one thing. But if you're making us lose our business because of your fucking mandates, go fuck yourself. Yeah, I mean, they should be writing you a check, if anything. First of all, not, not that you want a check. I assume you would rather be open and earn your money. But not only that, we miss Mother's Day, Father's Day. We miss the marathon. We miss the seafood festival. We miss every uh, baseball game, hockey game, basketball game, every concert. With the tourism, we rely on that for, for business, right? We lost it all. So Yeah, and, and you're not that far from the, where the Celtics play, right? Right the street from my guy. Yeah, I mean, so you'd probably get a lot of business around game days and stuff like that, and you're not getting any of that. And, jeez, right. So I like that because uh, have you talked to any other – so if you do it by yourself, that's the thing. If you're just like, I'm staying open because I do like that and I respect that and I think more businesses need to do that because what the fuck are they going to do? Eventually what they would probably do is shut off your power and your water. What would you do then? You'd what? That's what they did to a guy that had, had a gym uh, during COVID and he stayed open. They ended up locking his doors, cutting his power, cutting his water so that he couldn't, he couldn't function. Yeah, that's Dave Blondin. I had him on too. Uh, he's, out, he's out here in Oxford in Central Mass. And uh, they did the same thing. I, I believe he just moved the equipment outside. Now, you don't, you're not going to have that option because you're a restaurant. First of all, you need running water, like hot water. And uh, you can't do it outside because it's fucking January coming up. Exactly. So have you talked to I feel like if you bond, like come together with other restaurant owners and just have you talked to any other restaurant owners about coming together? Cause they'll be more fearful of you. If there's a group of you. And I agree. And I've said that there's a handful of us that are definitely willing to do, to do that. But then again, 
there's some people who don't want to break the rules or challenge the authority, and they want to play play you and see you. Now, you know, you got people who who own their buildings, so they don't have the burden of rent like some people do, right? So it makes it a little bit easier to take that hit. You got people that can say, "Oh, we'll close down during COVID. We'll reopen up in the spring." Hey, of time. Can you move a little closer to the mic? Yeah. Is like that better? Yeah, oh, much better. Much better. Right. There we go. Okay. All right. All right, cool. There, there, that works. So so you got people who, who own their own buildings that don't have the burden of the rent, and they can carry it you know, longer and, and shut down during this time and open up in the spring when things get better. Some of us who can't, that have to pay our bills every single month, you, you, you're stuck, and you got to do whatever you got to do to stay alive. So that's what I fight for. Yeah, like Davio's is not going to go out of business right. as a result of this. You know, it's going to be big businesses. And it was interesting the thing you mentioned on your uh, your rant there about the big box stores because right. those places earlier on in COVID they used to be like lines. Remember that they would only let like eighty Absolutely. people. It's back to a free for all in Walmart. Like it's fucking zoo in there. And if I just laugh, I see all these people with masks on in there. I'm like. You're gonna get it. Like none of these. <laughs> if I'm, there's so many of us in here. Somebody's got it. But, You're gonna fucking get it too. That mask ain't gonna save you. But that's the that's the whole thing. Of this whole oh, this entire bullshit is who is the fucking idiots that are making up these laws, saying at nine thirty, don't have another drop of alcohol because you'll have COVID. What the fuck does alcohol in, 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 difference between a glass of wine and a glass of water at nine thirty one p.m. What? And, and like you said, that, I mean. It knows times, it knows heights, it knows distances. But this is fucking all straight bullshit. Yeah, you know, there's no, wearing the mask while you're sitting down, while you take your, where you order, but take it down, chew on something, put it back up. No one's doing that. Yeah, yeah, no, no one's one, doing it. No one's going to enforce it. No one's going to enforce it. Oh, because it's already started. No, it has started. In the Cheesecake Factory, a friend of mine went there today, and they did tell him he had to put it on while he was eating. Cause that's a chain. They're, they're going right. to be like, you know, the more they're going to be like the, their orders come from their fucking, you know, the, at the top corporate comes, you know, whatever, but a, a smaller restaurant like you, like I said, who's, I mean, nobody's going to bust balls over that. I mean, what, unless the health department comes in there and they're like that guy right there, he's fucking, I saw him with his mask down. I'm going to find you for that. Like, how, first of all, how are you even supposed to stop the customer? Like you're going to babysit them. In that, yeah. You're supposed to patrol them. Put your fucking mask on. I'm, I'm the other way. Take your fucking mask off. I, right. I, it don't work anyway. Right. Because that's customer service too. Because like you, if, if I go to your restaurant and I got the fucking waitress coming up to me like the hall monitor every five seconds telling me you got to move it. I'm not going to feel welcome there. Absolutely not. You're going to get a bad taste in your mouth. You'll never go back again. Yeah. And uh, I would assume that there's 930 bullshit about the liquor. Straight I'm guessing bullshit. that. I'm guessing. What time are you normally open to? 11? Yeah, yeah, kitchen closes like at 10, 10 30, and we open right. up at 11 30. 9 30 to 11, that's when people are drinking wine after dinner. Right? Absolutely. And that's yeah. probably how you make the, that's where most of your margins are. Right. And right. you're just gone. And there's no compensation, no thought. Isn't there like a fucking business? Like, what about the Chamber of Commerce? Isn't there some business group that you can go to to like fucking advocate for you? You, you know, there's so, so much talk, right? There's a lot of talk, but nobody does anything. So it, 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 that's the that's the biggest problem. Like right now, right? People are booking for Christmas parties in November. You got no reservations for Christmas parties because everyone knows they have to be out by nine thirty. Same thing with New Year's Eve. You're fucked there. Everyone's got to be out by nine thirty. So you, you know, it, you got you got the Chamber of Commerce, you got the North End Committee, you got a lot of these other committees, but nobody wants to stand up for themselves. It's easier for everyone just to say, "Let the time go by," but. The Chamber of Commerce is all, no matter where you are, it's always run by a bunch of hack, has been politicians, right? That grease the right pockets and they're in with the right congressmen and stuff like that. And they're not going to rock the boat. That's the, the Chamber of Commerce is fucking useless. But uh, I, I think in strength lies power. There was there was another guy in when the first lockdown happened, Jerry Callahan had him on his podcast earlier on. I forget the guy's name. He's another Italian guy from the North End. And he was the same shit. He's just like, this is going to fucking kill me. I'm going to open up. If they shut me down, I'm fucking opening up. Luckily, they did open up eventually. Right. Uh, but, like, it's going to, like, how did you, like, you're a new restaurant. How the hell did you survive? You're, like, that's got to be, like, some of your first months open. You're just shut down. How do you survive that? Because I have other businesses that I, I'm taking from there to, to try to keep open. Because, you know, I don't give a fuck about me. 
what I give a fuck about is my people. And to see them hurting affects me. You know, when I when I got in, I said, you guys are my family now. And that's how I like to treat everybody. I'll give anybody the shirt off my back. You fuck with me, I'll go to war. Other than that, I'll give you anything you want. And these guys work hard for me. It, it, they they do everything we expect them to do, and then some. So they're family, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I mean, how so, do you, how, many, how many people do you employ? About eleven, depending well, on the seasons. Like a bartender, two bartenders. Bartender, you got bus people, you got washer, uh, you know, a dishwasher, you got uh, three chefs, three so, chefs, oh, yeah. yeah, and none of these people like they can't go to another restaurant because it's going to be the same shit there. It, it, yeah, and nobody's hiring right now anyway. Everyone's yeah. fucking laying off. Unfucking believable. And, and the same thing with the gyms, right? With the gyms, they're only at now again at forty percent. You, you you can only go in. You got to wear the fucking mask. People are putting their their um memberships on hold. Look, the gyms were sanitized before fucking COVID ever came out. So when you look at the numbers, gyms aren't giving the fucking boost in the COVID. Restaurants aren't giving the boost in the COVID. These numbers are fictitious. And well, like you know you it's being spread. It's being spread in your home. Exactly. Somebody, somebody goes to Walmart. They pick up COVID. They bring it back. You're not wearing your mask at home. Everybody's getting it. If you're living, everybody's going to fucking get it. It's inevitable. So it's like that's where it gets fucking spread. Right. So and, 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 and people take a six test a fucking week. Some people every day. And, and you're wondering why the numbers are going up. Yeah, it's exactly. It's bullshit. Like my wife and kids, they went, so both of my, my in-laws got, they got the virus, right? I don't know how yeah. they got it. And so my wife and the kids, they had to go uh, get tested last Thursday. So they go and test, they waited in line like three hours yeah. and they're like, they wanted me to go. I go, no, I'm not sick. Sick people don't get tested. Okay. If I don't, if I don't have a virus, if I have a virus and I don't even know about it, then it's not much of a virus. I don't care. And so they went and they got tested. They came back all negative, but guess what? Now they get, the rules are, the health department says, you got to quarantine for 10 days because you got tested too early. <laughs> Do you yes. know like, what the fuck kind of, this is insane. Absolutely it, insane. But did you hear about Elon Musk? He took four tests the same day, same nurse, same machine, two positive, two negative. How the fuck does that work? What am I? Am I sick or am I not sick? Well, here's the thing. When the vac and, and you know, I, I, I'm guessing you're not going to get the vaccine. Absolutely not. How come? The thing has other th other DNA, metals, fucking poisons, toxins. I'll grow another fucking leg. I ain't doing that. Yeah. See, I'm not getting it because I'm not scared of COVID. Like, I, I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get, I wouldn't get vaccine from for a cold either. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm just, if I get it, I'll be fine. You know, you're a healthy guy. I'm a healthy guy. We'll be fine. Like, exactly. I, would, I would get it if I was like, you know, my grandmother, I would urge, urge them to get it, obviously, because if you got it, much more likely some shit's going to happen to you. But at the same time, if, I laugh at these people. I laugh at them who say, who think this is ending with the fucking vaccine. Because yeah. I mean, CNN and Sanjay Gupta and these fucking celebrity doctors on TV now, they're all telling us, no, no, no. Even with the vaccine, you still should wear a mask. You still shouldn't try. Then what the fuck's the point of the vaccine? Not only that, did you hear about the people who have already taken it? That already have developed um, a Bell's policy? It, it's when the face, the face droops. And they say it could go in two months. It could go in two fucking years. We don't know yet. Oh, yeah, I want to be the fucking guinea pig when my fucking face is dropped for fucking two years. Seriously? And look, the other thing with the vaccination, the flu vaccination, the people I know who get the flu vaccination still get the fucking flu. I never got the flu vaccination, and I don't get the fucking flu. Yeah, so, the, flu, the flu vaccination doesn't work very well at all. No, and neither does the COVID bullshit anyway. You know, when a vaccination takes on, on normal circumstances, 25 years to master... And this thing comes out in 10 months. How in the right mind can a person say, yeah, let's try it. I think it's safe. I mean, because some people media I mean, said it. I, I'm not going to do it. I mean, I'll wait for everybody else to go. And uh, eventually, you know, whatever. Maybe I'll get it. I heard you have to get it every year, too. Yeah. And, and supposedly that you won't be able to travel. You won't be able to go to a gym. You won't be able to go to anywhere. How will they know if you have it or not? The vaccine. You're going to get chipped? You know, I, I don't know. I heard a lot of different things. I heard it could go on your license. That you have to have proof to show it, then it goes on your license. So you need proof to you need license to do that. You don't need it to vote, but no, you, you, need don't, you don't need your license to vote. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You can fucking break that. Fucking believable what you the can government. Be 200 years old and vote. That's fine. I know. You don't even know. You don't have to be alive. It's like anybody can fucking vote. Right. They'll mail you a ballot. Exactly. So fucking asinine. So I'm guessing you're a Trump supporter. Absolutely. 
Yeah, and you know what I thought? I really thought that this was going to end. If he didn't, I thought this was all just a thing to get rid of him, which I still believe. I do but, too. But it's he he lost and fucking it's still happening. And, and I really thought, even though when they declared Biden what three three weeks ago, and I said there's no way Trump's still got a shot. They, they're going to find ways. There's too much corruption. There's so much proof of corruption. There's no way he's going to get away with this. And how the fuck he did it is better than Houdini because I still to well, this you, minute. I have right. no idea. Well, well, conservatives also got swindled with that by uh, the Sydney lawyer there and Lynn Wood and stuff like that. They were lying to you. They were lying to you the whole time when they told you, that, oh, we got something up our sleeve. It was all just a lie to get you to fucking donate to them. It was a big fucking scam. Everybody's trying to make money off it. There was no plan. Right. It was all just fucking. They was, I mean, it, it was what it was. He won because of mail and voted. Because so, they made it so much easier for everybody to fucking vote. That's why he won the election. But um, yeah, so. This is fucking crazy. Uh, I mean, I hope you survive this shit. Uh, but I, 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 do you think Charlie Baker or Marty Walsh will have the balls to shut down indoor dining? Yeah, I do. You know why? Because yeah. whatever happens in New York ends up happening in Boston. And they just shut down New York the other day. So it's just a matter of time. And I've, I've heard rumors that it was going to be December 18th. Then I heard it's going to be January 4th. So if the rumors out there, it's probably going to happen. We just don't know what date yet. I feel like they're going to use Christmas and New, New Year's as, as an the excuse. spike point. Right, as an excuse. Like, yeah. oh, no, look, at numbers went up. I told you people. It's all, and then they'll blame it on you. This is what Absolutely. they do Thanksgiving. They said, well, we told you guys not to travel, and yeah. then you tra it's all your fucking fault. Meanwhile, yeah. these same assholes said nothing about 50,000 people protesting for George Floyd's eighth funeral in June. Exactly. And, and nobody say nothing about all the elderly that's in Florida and all these bars and restaurants that are wide open, people sweating on each other, going to the fucking beach, rubbing up against each other, doing whatever the fuck they want in Florida. Those numbers are spiking. So it just happens in the state of Massachusetts and New York, I guess. Florida is like another country right now. It's so fucking awesome. Their governor, who is the best governor in the country. Absolutely. And like I've, I've never wanted to move from Massachusetts more than I have now. I see down there, like that guy, DeSantis, the he's, not, he's never shutting anything down again. He's like, never, ever, ever again. I don't no. care what happens. Did you hear the, the video I did when I said, I will pay for Governor Baker to go down. I did. I did see and, that. And, and all expenses paid to sit down with this guy to give him a lesson on how to be a fucking governor. Yes, I, I saw that video. That was a good video. And he and you wanted a meeting with him, and I'm guessing you didn't hear back from his people. Nobody. No, nobody from TV. No politicians. No select uh, um, city councilors. Nobody. Could Have you considered him. contacting a city councilor in Boston? Well, you know, you know a couple of guys that are in your own region, so they're easy to. You see them on the street. You say, "Hey, can you help me?" But do you live in Boston, by the way? Are you a Boston resident? Yeah, I live in the North End. Oh, you do. So, you, okay. So, who's the district councilor over there? Ben Corey, uh, Ben Corey, and um, um, uh, Aaron um, Mitchovitz. Are they okay? Yeah, they, they're good. But at yeah. the same time, they're not going to mix. They're not going to mix their political views and, you know, be involved in you, you, yeah. your your own beef. I guess they're not. Yeah. They, they, they could they do better helping small business and advocating for them one thousand percent because nobody's helping us right now. Yeah, because I mean, some city councilors. I mean, if Michelle Wu is your city councilor, you're fucked. There's not. Yeah. She's not going to help you out. No. But I, I would think like you. We elect these people. Like you, they owe you, like you need as a bit, and they're, they're scared of business owners because you guys represent a ta a tax paying, you know, segment of society. They can't afford to lose you. And right. so, cause without them, like, where do they think this fucking money comes from? The government tree that yeah. all this, like they, all these bailouts and stuff like that, that comes from taxpayers. But if businesses are going out of business, then they're not paying taxes. Then where the fuck does the money come from? Exactly. It, it, and that's the problem is, is, Nobody's looking at that now. You know where you're going to see a, a, a bigger problem is is now where the unemployment is now. I think December 20, 20 something, it, it, it dies off, right? So yeah. people who've been on it, it's going to expire. I know people have been trying to go in and on it again. They're getting denied left and right. People who have medical issues. They, they have no money to pay the medical bills. But there's no fucking plan. No, you know, there's nothing. If, if there was a plan in place to say. There's going to be another PPE. There's going to be uh, another 600. There's, they're not even talking about it. There's nothing. So people 
a fucking helpless right now. But you know what? It's it's those big restaurants. It's like the Davios of the world and the Cheesecake Factories. They're not going to say shit because no. they're going to be. They, they know they're going to survive this no matter what. Right. It, it, it's the small mom and pop shops that. I'm, but we're the ones that fuel the economy. It ain't right. the, totally. it, it's those Tavio people. You know, and Landry's and all these big name companies. It, it's it's the little guys. And, and what I th- what I think people need to do, quite frankly, is. Shop at small businesses exclusively, guys. Stop going to these. Anybody that's not like, we need to start punishing fucking people who aren't speaking out. It should no longer be acceptable to not do what you're doing. You, it's shameful that you're one of the only guys putting yourself out there like this. And people need to support you. I mean, do you got do you do takeout? We do, but you know what? The thing is, when you're doing the table service and you're doing seafood and pastas and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't want you to take that home and go. Exactly. Oh, fuck, it's about the fucking atmosphere. It's don't about- judge me like that. So I, 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 I kind of pull back. You want a meatball sandwich, chicken palm, stuff like that? Yeah, we do it. But I, I don't make that a specialty because we're, we're better than that. It looks like it's the environment. You go in there, some guy is singing your song and playing your violin. You're like my thing is you're like family in my eyes. You come in, you're greeted. We we check on you all the time. We'll, we'll we, we we have fun. We talk regular conversation. It ain't like you come in, sit down, eat your food, and get the fuck out. We ain't like that. Yeah, because, like, I, I would assume a lot of parties are going to want to go longer than 90 minutes. Absolutely. I mean, the drink. even a date or someone trying to get engaged, what do you say? Hey, right before you give her the ring, I need you to get the fuck out. You like, can't do that. Are you supposed to have, like, a clock? Like, yeah. how do you even know? Like, what? what? I, I've <laughs> been in restaurants recently, and they've told me, uh, sir, just so you know, you have a 90-minute window. Mm. The, the fucking football game's on for 90 minutes. Yeah. Can I watch the game? Yeah. And what happens if your waitress is slow? Like, a lot of times the waitress is slow. You know, the food takes too long to get there. Like, what, I got to shove this down my gullet before the fucking clock strikes midnight and then I turn back into a pumpkin? It, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and, you're, and you're constantly looking at your watch saying, wow, am I almost have to get out. Do I almost have to get out. You, what, that's no way to dine. That's not what a dining experience is about. Yeah. So, uh, Anybody have any questions? I'm going to take questions from the audience. Anybody have questions? Um, fire away uh, at the audience. How do you pronounce the name of your restaurant? People are asking. Rabia's Dolce Fumo. Dolce right. Fumo means sweet smoke in Italian. And okay. we do these drinks that have dry ice that makes it like uh, it's like a fishbowl. And the dry ice, we put sugar in. It's, 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 it's a crazy drink. But that's where okay. that comes from. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Um, other questions? Um I better. I'd love to come. I'd love to come eat there sometime. By the way, I got. I got to eat your food. It looks delicious. We got a lot of people from your area that come down all the time. Really? Because I'm from Central Mass. You got people from out here. That- we got people from Worcester, Holden, Plainville, Paxton, Holden, that whole area. Wow, a lot that's of cops true, from that area. Uh, let's see what else we got. What kind of accent is that? People, it sounds like a, like a New Jersey accent. Everyone says it sounds like New York, New Jersey. I was just Boston. It is okay. You're you're born and raised. I've been here my whole life. Yeah. Born and raised. What did you do before the restaurant industry? Construction, real estate development, nightclubs, bars, martini lounges. Yeah. And everything. How's the parking? People want to know. There's a lot literally across the street. That's called Cooper Street. There's a surface lot there. Parcel Seven, Haymarket Square. There's a million places to park. You got you got valet? Or no. No, they took valet away because of the. Uh, when COVID came, you had the um, dining outside, so yeah. that took up the valet areas, and okay. now it's being used as parking. So now, okay. Uh, other questions? Let's see. Anybody else have any questions? Uh, let's see. Five. If you guys have anything you want to ask them, fire away. I'll ask them. Uh, uh, are we going to vote Baker out? Absolutely. Now here's the problem. You're not. If you don't like Baker, you're really not going to like what comes after Baker. That's what I. I do. Unless somebody else comes in. Yeah, like the like Donald Trump or uh, somebody like him ain't gonna get elected governor of Massachusetts. Right. It, 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 it's, it's all it's a democratic state. I mean, there's no right. way, but you have but, to have somebody that has some sense of fucking, uh, you know, a brain cell that can help businesses. Well, I got bad news for you. Uh, you know who the rumor is next for the Democrats who they want to run is uh, Maura Healy. Maura, I know. I know. <laughs> Which is, You're is really not going to be Yeah. I know. <laughs> You'll be begging for Charlie Baker. Uh, uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, 
Any, but people are asking, had you ever heard of Turtle Boy before today? I, I matter of fact, this past week, and I did, and I had no idea what what it was about. And then I obviously got bombarded well, we today. Bonded, we've bonded over a similar issue. Yeah. What about? Do you know Jerry Callahan podcast? Have you heard of Jerry Callahan before? No. He was on the radio EEI for like twenty years. Uh, oh yeah, Callahan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Callahan, yeah. So I do a, I do a, a morning podcast with him every Monday and Thursday. I'm going to talk to him see if we, if we can get if we can get you on there. Would you want to come on that? Absolutely. Okay, I'll talk to Jerry. See what he says. Uh, anything else? Any of the questions? Uh, let's see. Could be worse. You could be in Somerville. If you were in Somerville, you'd be shut down by now. By the way, that guy, the mayor there, Kurt Tony. Oh. Yeah, horrible. I know. He must disgrace you as a uh, Italian. Yeah, there's a lot of them that dis that disgrace. <laughs> is this a family-run business or is it just you? Uh yeah, no, my, my brother, um, and uh, there's Kim who is the general manager, and there's mm -hmm. me. Who's the guy with the man bun? Uh, that, that's a good friend of mine, C Money. His name is Simone. Simone. We do a lot of skits together. He, he's a North End kid. He like, does he? Is he work there? Or is he like? No, he just he comes in every day. Oh, just. Just comes to eat. Is a patron every day. Comes to Get eat. Get the yeah. fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> Just comes there to eat every day. That's he's great. got a huge Instagram following. Uh, he, he, he's a funny bastard. Yeah. He's okay, good. that works. Uh, would you consider running for public office? People want to know. You know, I thought about it, but I, it, it's difficult because. I'm not a polished person. I, you know, I, you I'm say. almost like a Donald <laughs> Trump, right? And yeah. I know I'm not polished, and I got balls. So I'm going to go up against anybody, and I'll, I'll fight to the end for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people don't like that I'm not polished. You know, some people say you swear too much. That's me. So if you don't like me for me, what am I going to do? Yeah, no, it is, it, it, that's the thing. It's like I, I'd vote for you, but I don't – I got to be honest with you. I don't think it would go over well with like soccer moms in Lexington, some of your <laughs> vocabulary. You know? like, I, just saying, just saying. But I also have them, some people say, hey, Christian, you know, today you only said 21 fucks, three assholes, three <laughs> shit face. They count how many I swear. <laughs> That's the thing. I couldn't even play the video around my kids. I'm like, ah, oh, I got to, I got to show I know. It. It's, but I don't <laughs> even think about it. And the other, I, know. I, I don't do two takes. I don't do it, read it, and then correct it. You know, it, that would be fucked up. I just yeah. say it the way I say it, and that's it. I push play, and that's done. All right. Any other questions, guys? Let's see. All right. Anything else? Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. You, if you guys have anything you want to ask him, fire away, or else uh, we'll let him go. I'm sure he's a very busy guy. You're not open tonight? No. We, we had to close Mondays and Tuesdays just because there's no business. That so, fucking oh, sucks. Yeah. We open Wednesday through Sunday. Were you previously open Mondays yeah, and Tuesdays? Yeah, absolutely. Unfucking believable. The amount of money they are just taking out of your fucking pocket. That's why you guys, when you go to these local businesses, support them as much as possible and tip well because th those people they're losing like you know two sevenths of their fucking salary. Like tip well. That's all I'm going to say. You know, these guys are work used to working eighty hours a week, ninety hours a week, and down to down to forty five hours a week. I mean, that's that's horrible. Yeah, it is. It is. All right. Um, anything else, guys? Uh, people wanted to. Do you have a cookbook? No, we, we keep our recipes uh, quiet. Okay, you keep your. Are you a cook yourself? I can't even make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Really? And you decided to open a restaurant? My my mother, it, she cook. If there's two people, she cooks for twenty five. Yeah. My grandmother's the same way. It, that that's how it is. But uh, we 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 have taste buds. When you're Italian, you have a certain yeah. taste bud. So I you know what like, it has to taste yeah, like. Yeah, true. I feel like they're picking on you because when I look at you, obviously you you go to the gym a lot and you own a restaurant. Like they literally – this was made to fuck with you, like these two things, gyms and restaurants. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's sticking it right up my ass without the Vaseline. Believe yeah. me, I know. That's like telling – you know what I mean? Like if you were a fat guy and they shut down the ice cream parlor, you'd be like, what the fuck? Why are you picking on me for? What did I do? You know? <laughs> exactly. Um, let's see. Do you guys do you do anything like uh, people want to do, do? Do you guys have like community shit like with the neighborhoods or anything like that? Oh yeah. So we 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 we'll give away like matter of fact Thanksgiving we gave away twenty five turkeys. We gave away coats for kids, school supplies. Um, we help the the needy all the time, all the time. Uh, 
we're always out to help a, a charity and organization donate. Um, a friends of mine own a dance studio and the right now, you know, where a lot of parents can't afford for their kids to dance. They try to raise money to be able to have these kids to be able to dance. So we support them. I mean, this, this COVID thing and his shutdowns are hurting many, many, many industries. You, you know, just take like singers, performers, musicians, DJs, they're all getting hurt, right? And where is their income? If they're a professional performer? I mean, you, you, did you host any events or anything like that? Like wedding rehearsals? Nah, we, we can't do that because they're not letting us do any live music. I mean, I bring guys in to do the accordion and violin. Before before COVID, did you do anything like that? Oh, yeah. We, 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 we did music often. You have to have a, a, an entertainment license, even though just to put your TV on. Yeah. So, I mean, it, 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 and to put a radio on. So we play music all the time. Yeah. People want to know, do you, uh, so at Turtle Boy, we have this ongoing thing with flat-brimmed hats. People <laughs> want to know, would you would you consider curving the, the brim of your hat? 90% of mine are all curved. Okay, all right. But my boy runs this place called The Label with a Boston hat, so I'm, I'm representing. What's that thing you guys were talking about, Roped Off? What's that? So Roped Off, my buddy Derek Burns has that. That's his label, Roped Off. And you know when you go into a VIP section in a nightclub or something and you get roped off? Oh, uh, okay. So but, but what it means, though, it's to, the, it's to the individual. You're roping yourself off as you're your own VIP. You okay. don't need somebody to say, hey, you, 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 you're a VIP. You know yourself, you're a VIP. So this is a brand he sells shit? It, it, yeah, just roped off gear. Okay. It, you're roped off. And you guys have a, a boxer you sponsor? So you had like a boxer. You yep, go. Anthony Hines. He's uh, just turned pro, three fights in, it's 3 and 0. 3 and 0. Young kid? From Dorchester, yeah. Okay, all right. That's cool. All right, guys. Any more questions? I'll give you guys another minute and then we'll call it a night with him. Because. Um, I really thank you for your time. You know, I'm sure you're very busy. I appreciate uh, it. Yeah. Uh, all right. Cool. So you you walk to work? You you live that close? Oh yeah, it was a seven minute walk. I mean, literally right there. That's great. That's great. Uh, all right, guys. Um, all right. So uh, all right, cool. Looks like we're good. Uh, thank you for coming on. I really appreciate that, Christian. And thank uh, you. Like I said, like I said, if you guys can, uh, if you're in Boston, make sure you uh, hit it up again. It's I don't want to pronounce this wrong. Let me try it though. I'm gonna try it. Uh, Rabia's Dolce Fuma. Fumo. Fumo. Dolce Fumo. Okay. Yeah. Fumo. Okay. Rabia's Dolce Fumo. Hit him up. Get a, You got gift cards? Yeah, we do gift cards. Yep. There you go. Get Now's the perfect time to get a fucking gift card Christmas. You know, once this shit all goes away, hopefully in five years, then you can go in there and use it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, man. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks for coming on. Right. Bye. Take care. Bye. All right. So. That was cool, man. We need more people like that, guys. Like, it's cool that we have him, and it's cool that we got Dave Blondins and stuff like that, but they're powerless by themselves. They need support from the community. So, seriously, hit them up if you're in Boston. Like, any business owner, any business owner that defies the government has an open invitation to come on my platform, advertise for free. I'll, I'll urge people to go there. Any fucking business owner does because this is a this is a revolution. This is a war. Enough of this fucking bullshit. Enough of it. They don't get to do this to people. I mean, this is fucking insane. They're just like, well, we're just gonna shut you down. Well, how am I supposed to make money? <laughs> Fuck if I know. <laughs> You'll be fine. You can just go, you know, three months without a fucking income. We just need to flatten the curve. Don't you know there was a fucking doctor on Instagram? They posted a picture. She's very tired. She's very tired. They've been rehearsing a TikTok. Don't you know? They're very fucking tired. Give them a break. It's all a fucking lie. It's absolutely a lie. Uh, all right, cool. Any other questions? Uh, I'll take any questions you guys have. It doesn't have to be about that. It can be about anything. Fire away. Uh, go. I almost came here on time today. Got here at 9.03. Who had that in the pool, huh? Dominion is making the COVID test. That's good because you know how I feel about Dominion. I think it's a waste of fucking time to talk about Dominion. People asked me about the Dominion thing the other day. They're like, did you see? G.I. Turtle actually messaged me about this. He said, did you see the thing about the Dominion voting machines in Michigan or something like that? I'm like, okay, let, let's talk about this for a moment. So if the Dominion voting machines were rigged, right, then doesn't that mean that Trump's election in 2016 was also fraudulent? 
because the same machines were used or did it only fucking rig against him in 2020? It didn't rig against him in 2016. Oh, and by the way, in states like Michigan and Pennsylvania, Republicans won the House of Representatives in those states. So was it rigging against them? And how come we're not complaining about rigging machines in states like Florida and North Carolina and Ohio that we won by a little bit? How come we're not, why don't, did Dominion fuck those states over? Oh, no, 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 no. They only fucked over Trump where he lost. Enough with the Dominion shit. You're, you're, you guys, I wish you could hear yourselves. You're becoming everything that we rightfully mocked the left for. As soon as fucking remember all the not my president, not my president, faithful selectors. Oh, they shouldn't vote for him. The electoral college, they don't have to do it. The 25th Amendment, all this bullshit. Russia, you've become them. Just accept it. It's okay. Like you'll be as long as they don't control the Senate, as long as we got cocaine Mitch there holding shit down, we'll be good. We'll be up, we'll survive this. None of the Supreme Court justices are gonna fucking croak in the next four years. The only one who might leave is Breyer, and he's a liberal, so that would be liberal for a liberal anyway. But you know, these liberals, like, RBG could have left her in the Obama administration, but she fucking chanced it. Now she did. Oops. So Clarence Thomas isn't going to die. The thing about Republicans is the guys we nominate, we nominate them when they're like 48, 50. Like Amy Comey Barrett's in her 40s. Brett Kavanaugh, I think, was 52 when he got on. Clarence Thomas was like 46 when he got on, Right. Uh, Gorsuch, uh, he, he's got to be in late 40s, probably early 50s. They nominate RBG when she's 62. They fucked up. You got to nominate them young. So that way they're there for like 30-something years. That's what you want. Any other questions? Laura, you agree with me more times than you realize. She always says this. This is the one time I agree with you. Come on. We all, we all agree the ratchets are bad, right? We all agree... We probably voted similarly in Ratchet Madness. I don't know who you voted for, Kylie Kirkpatrick or Nikki Evans, who's back again. Ho, 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 ho. That cunt. Uh, but, yeah. You missed reading some donuts. Yeah, so thank you there. Uh, Susie Q, they disappear on me. Su Susie Q, I thank you for that dono. And any, I think Seven Pounder was in there, too. Thank you for that. Thank you, guys. Uh, very generous of you. Um, thank you very much. StreamYard link. I'm so nervous to do this because of the porn bombs. I mean, there's got to be a way. Brian Sessions knows a way around this, around the porn bombs. I got to figure this out. Abrams knew a way too. I just don't, I'm not good with this shit. So come on. I, I, I don't like the inter turtle writer shit that goes on in the comments too. Come on guys. We're all here to have a good time. You know, we're all on the same team here, right? We're all on the same team. I know Brett doesn't like that shit either. What's up with the Freedom of Information Act request? I talked to the secretary. Uh, so I talked. It's a good question. So I did contact the lawyer the other day about that. They cut the state's attorney contacted me, and they are going to get back to me. Uh, but they have they are filing something in court against the city of Boston. So actually, the wheels are in motion there because I'm not letting this shit go. I'm going to find out. They like the the mere fact that the city of Boston, which has complied previously with Freedom of Information Act requests, which I filed with them before. The mere fact that they're just completely ignoring me makes me think I'm onto something. Makes me wonder how much money has the city of Boston paid to violence in Boston Incorporated. I really wonder that. You showed me how to get around the porn bomb stuff. I forgot. I'm sorry. Dr. Shiva for governor. Dr. Shiva is not my monkey. I don't know if he told you that. But uh, Dr. Shiva is a fucking joke, obviously. He's ne he was never a serious candidate. That's why I voted for him because, um, and I'd probably still vote for him, not going to lie, just because it's funny. I mean, it's funny. It, it, he, it would be so funny if he got on a debate stage with, like, you saw how he was with me. Like, uh, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> You're a bigger boy. Dr. Shiva is not your monkey. Now imagine him debating, like, actually... Have like Elizabeth Warren has no choice but to debate him. That would be fucking hilarious. 
hilarious. But he can't win. If you take Shiva seriously, you're kind of a fucking idiot. That's all I'm going to say about that. He's like a bipolar <laughs> Indian drug. It's funny because it's true. It really is. Leah cracks me up. She's funny. Uh, anything else? He hasn't collected his billboards. I see the Shiva signs fucking everywhere. I don't think he's going to collect those. I think he's just leaving them there. I, I think that's his plan. You still see the Shiva signs fucking everywhere. What's up with Ernst? No, he's out. So I got a follow-up coming up on Ernst next. He is uh, he's blaming the old woman. He says he's the victim. I shit you not. Shit you not. Uh, Wally Wallace is Turtle Boy. What an amazing dude after looking out for other people, giving out the platform and voice. Right back at you, Wally. Thank you very much, sir. Update on the case uh, against Bristol Barney. No, we'll be getting something in the mail. I'm I'm expecting that not to go anywhere simply because uh, I don't know, the jurisdiction. I'm just guessing they're gonna move. They're gonna say, I'm guessing they're gonna come back and say this is in the wrong courthouse. That's what I'm guessing is gonna happen. In, in which case, I will be filing my own criminal complaints in Attleboro District Court against her. So the battle's not done yet. Either way. Anytime you use cocksucker, 20, except he doesn't say it like that guy, cocksucker. He doesn't even say it the fun way. You suck cock. That's what, that's what she said. So he sucks cock, literally. <laughs> Um, okay. I'm this Travis guy. I'm I'm blocking him. He's asked the same fucking question about martial law a million times. If you do that, I don't like you. I find you annoying. You bring absolutely fucking nothing to the table. You're not interesting. Turtle Boy is for interesting people only. Get the fuck out with your bullshit. Go watch fucking Howie Car. Get the fuck out of here. Anything else? Fake or real tree? Uh, we went fake about five years ago. We never gone back. We've been fakes. Go once you go fake, you never go back. Trust me, it's not worth the hassle to get the real tree. You can get a scent. You can get the odor. You can put on a fucking. You know, you can make it smell like a Christmas tree in your house if you want to. It's not worth it. It's so much fucking easier. Um, what is a porn bomb? A porn bomb is when you bring on somebody on the stream yard, and uh, it, they immediately once they get on, they change their avatar to some sort of hardcore pornography. It happened the other day. There's this terrible image. I don't know how many people saw it. Um, I got a screenshot of it, of a morbidly obese man uh, being tag teamed by two gentlemen uh, who combined are not half of his weight. It was very disturbing. Yeah, that's spamming. Exactly. Somebody said, uh, like, like they answered, it's spamming. When the guy comes on, he was like, should Trump declare martial law? He asked me that, like, every time I'm looking. I'm looking for interesting comments, and I see, like, should Trump declare martial law? It's like, should you shut the fuck up? Answer, yes, blocked. Bye. Can we have Christian back in the show? I'm sure we haven't seen the last of Christian. If they dare, try, if they try to shut down restaurants, you're going to see a lot more Christian. Trust me. You haven't seen the last of him. Yeah, like Ernie says, Christmas in a box. It's fucking great. Riccio wish he got my PayPal shut down, and I don't really care that they got my PayPal shut down. I'm fine. I don't need fucking PayPal. I'll be good. Although it's awkward. Like I, I ran a fantasy league this year and I collected money there using PayPal. And so I'm like, I, some people still owe money. So now I'm like, what the fuck are you going to do? Write me a check. I'm going to have people write me checks and I'm going to cash the checks. What am I going to do? This is insane. Like I, people like I'm banned. Like that's fucking badass. Like I'm banned. Like my family and shit. Like when we have family vacations, we pool our money together. I'll just Venmo me. I can't I'm fucking banned from Venmo. I'm banned. I can't do it. It's going to be so hard to explain to strangers. Like, cause you use PayPal and, and Venmo, which are owned, both owned by PayPal. Now so I'm banned from both. You use them for like, not just business, but use them for social situations, like with friends and stuff like that. So like how, when I meet strangers and shit now, and you're like, I, 
can't, I can't contribute. Like if you go out to dinner and like one person pays, I'll just Venmo me. Well, about that. Do you take a money order? Can you do that? <laughs> what am I going to do? Is Christian single? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. And it didn't come up in our first interview. Anything else? By the way, I really hope Trump. Um, I watched Snowden the other. Um, the one, the guy, Robin, the Robin from Batman. I forget his name. The guy with the hyphenated last name. Uh, it was really good. I watched it on Netflix, and you know, free Eric Snowden. That's his name, right? Eric. Free that guy needs to be free. And Assange, free them both. Fuck this shit. The deep state, all this bullshit out there. That's why I love the new Republican Party, by the way. We are the new like populists. We are the new like activists, if you will. The Democratic Party has become the party of the establishment of Google, of Facebook, of censorship. The, the Biden administration is already filled with these fucking douchebags. They've become the party of the rich, the wealthy, the powerful. And the Republican Party has become the party of like the working man and the freedom fighters. And uh, that's pretty cool. So like now, like feel like 10 years ago, there are some Republicans still like Liz Cheney, who is literally just cancer in a fucking box. The Cheney family, there's nothing we need to get rid of more in America than the Cheney family. And people like her and these like old school Republicans, they're like, now he gave state secrets to the Chinese. Yeah. You know, the secrets they gave, uh, they, they didn't give to the Chinese. They fucking gave to the world. They showed that. Yeah. They're fucking spying on us. They're spying on your phone calls. They're spying on your emails and they blew the fucking whistle. They're fuck Snowden, Edward Snowden. I apologize. Edward Snowden is a fucking hero. He's a fucking hero. That's what I'm saying. It's a goddamn shame he has to live in Russia like a fucking criminal and hide. Thank you, Jennifer Jones. I appreciate that. Will you call her Jill Biden? Absolutely not because she's not a real doctor. I'm not calling her that. Like, I'm not calling Brett Reverend because he got his online Reverend degree. Come on, Dr. Biden. Shut, shut the fuck up. You're a lonely housewife who had some free time. So you got an online degree from the University of Delaware. That's all you are. You're not a doctor. No, Snowden isn't the one who turned. That's Chelsea Manning. That's Manning. Why is it Republicans don't fight back? We do fight back. We're, we just had Donald Trump as president. You talk about. But we do have a lot of Republicans like Liz Cheney and you know, um, some of these Mike Brons of the world that are like owned by the tech companies. And that's, we got to get rid of them. Like, I'll tell you the perfect situation we can do. You know who's got to go? Marco Rubio has to go. He sucks. He's useless. He's a relic of the past. He's up for re-election in 2022. We don't, obviously don't want a Democrat to win that. So Matt Getz is the future of the Republican Party. He's in Florida. He should primary Rubio. That's the kind of shit we need to do. We need to start primarying these fucking douchebag Republicans. I know I need to get David Owen back on here. It's been a while. I need him back. David, we need John soon. Why have I uh, heard a lot about Crenshaw being around? Because he is. Crenshaw is useless. Don't fall for Dan Crenshaw's bullshit. He wants more war in the Middle East. He's one of those traditional guys. I bet you, I bet you he doesn't think Snowden, like this is like the litmus test for Republicans. Do you think Snowden should be pardoned? Do you think we should pull out of Afghanistan? Do you think marijuana should be legalized? Because by the way, the House of Representatives last week or a week and a half ago voted to uh, legalize marijuana. And like five Republicans voted to legalize marijuana. Like Matt Getz is one of them. That's a fucking shame. That is a winning issue we're really holding on to this still seriously that's why the the new populist right is going to be way better than your father's republican party trust me it's going to be so much more fun you're going to love it you're going to love it yeah crenshaw is a neocon you know, he's not good he's bad news you don't dan crenshaw is not the future of the party nikki haley's not the future of the party you don't want him you don't want him We do need Gupta back. It's been a while. Crenshaw's not a rhino. He's a neocon. There's a huge difference between rhinos and neocons. Rhinos are 
Republican liberals who call themselves Republicans, like Charlie Baker, he's a rhino. Neocons are conservative on most of the primary issues, particularly the social issues, but they're just attached to war and internationalism, and they're not America first. The new populist right, we are America first. We come Americans before fucking building schools in Afghanistan. That is the general policy. And freedom, like legalized pot and shit like that. We'll get you on, Dave, I promise. I'm a Reagan Republican. Exactly. The, the Reaganism, it's done. It's done. I want to call him with Brett for a ratchet call on it. We should do that sometime. Remember when Leah and Brett fought on here? That was a good episode. All right, guys. Any uh, more questions before we call it a night? Yeah, tip your del- tip your delivery drivers. Tip on shit you wouldn't normally tip. Even when you get takeout, you should tip now. You know, tip everybody. They need your help. They real. They're getting fucked by the state, man. They're getting fucked. Keep the economy going. Everyone knows, sir. I'm sure we'll be talking about that on the live show this weekend. I didn't know. I love Christian during the BLM protest. Him and his friends guided to the North End. They didn't even stop. That's great. It's so true. Is the 80 year old okay? Yeah, she's uh, she's okay. I mean, that's the other thing. I mean, he definitely punched her. It's very clear in that video he punched her. So fuck him. All right, guys. Um, I guess we'll call it a night then. Thank you, everybody, for uh, your donos and your attention. Good show. Good audience. Study. And we will see you all on Thursday for the next episode of the live show. Peace, Total Riders. <laughs>